Good morning or good afternoon, wherever you are. It's Keith. Um, I've just watched the two hour epic from eFix. Brilliant, brilliant uh, video. I I've got to say, if you haven't watched it, please watch it. Um, it's got some great tips. Um, especially a lot of it's to do with the roof installation. It's something I never cover, mainly because I never go on roofs. <laughs> I'm, um, it, I'm not a roofer and um, you're not gonna catch me on a roof. So it's brilliant. It's showing about how the panels fix and some of the issues and to do with the roofing. Brilliant, um, the stuff that was presented by Griff, absolutely spot on. Um, a couple of points that I noticed on the video, which are, which are really good and valid points. Um, I noticed they recommended you don't need to use um, a, um, a meter um, to measure the export of the uh, the inverter. Um, actually, it's it's a bit contentious anyway because it's something I always talk about. Because nowadays the old string inverters, the power just goes one way. The problem with storage inverters is going both ways all of the time, and so the meter doesn't really give you a true reading. And so you're better off looking at your spark meter or the app. Um, personally, um, so th that's one comment. The other comment is they talk about don't need to use two isolators. Uh, on the PV side, um, on the string. Yeah, I agree, I totally agree. Sometimes there may be needs for using a second isolator, um, but generally Griff is absolutely spot on. Once you switch it off on load, you break the circuit, it's off load, then you can disconnect the MC4 four connectors one at a time, and not both at a time, you blow yourself in pieces. So yeah, it's a great, great point. The other valid point is so many people don't use battery fuse or battery isolators. That is absolutely important. I always tell people it's very, very important to make sure um, that using a battery isolator. Some of the newer batteries and the newer SunSync that will be launched later on um, in the next few months have a battery isolator and a battery fuse built into it. Um, so it's something to bear in mind. Um, but it's a, it, it is a very valid point, so I totally agree. Um, all the points they covered are really, really good. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing the, the video on using the earth bond um, because it is really important, especially when you change the classification of the inverter from a class two output to a class one output. Um, and our inverter does support it. Um, many of our competitors, and of course I can't mention who, don't support this feature. So we're, we're quite special in that relate, relationship. So, okay, yeah, so if you haven't watched it, um, I'll put a link to the eFix TV channel with this uh, two hour epic. It's superb, it's great watching. They've got some really great features. And you know, thank you for the team at eFix and thank you for Griff. Good, great guys. So, uh, very worth, worth watching. Thanks for following us.